welcome back to the techno strategy youtube channel so first of all for today the thing with the 16 pin power connector melting is still going on and this time it comes from cable mode which is an attachment cable mode has an attachment where it's like a voluntary safety recall for a 12 volt 90 degree and 80 degree angled adapters for version 1.0 and version 1.1 and it has a potential risk that the mail connector could become loose overheat and melt into the gpu which is a bad thing to see like some this recall will only apply only to our angled adapters and will not affect our angled cables so cables are fine but if you are using the adapter you should just recall it and if you have a melted gpu you can just reach out to their customer service if your gpu has been affected by a failed version 1.1 or 1.1 angle adapter and they will help you but it looks bad maybe it's something wrong with the connector itself and stuff like that and there should be a new connector but yeah next up with the rise of Ryzen we knew in back in 2017 that competition is nice and Intel was not in the game during in these years because of Ryzen and yeah the AM4 platform was supported for a very long time till like Ryzen 5000 and still now we are getting new CPUs launched for Ryzen Ryzen of Ryzen on AM4 platform and AM5 platform eventually came out with Ryzen 7000 and we don't know how long it would be supported but this just makes it clear as the spokesperson of AMD came, came out and talked the VP came out and talked with Overclockers UK regarding the longevity of of the AM5 platform and this is what he has to say regarding the longevity so watch the video recognized that the longevity of the AM4 platforms was one of the biggest reasons that led to the success of Ryzen. Um, and as we think about the future, 2025 and beyond, you know, that decision to move to a, a, a next generation of socket is one that's going to be really thought through very, very carefully. Um, we know the impact that moving to a new socket brings and we want to stay on AM5 as long as we possibly can. So, you know, we are firmly committed to 2025 and beyond, and uh, we'll see how long that, that promise lasts beyond 2025. So, yeah, they are going to give you longevity as long as 2025, and he said 2025 plus. So, it can be till Zen 6 or Zen 7, we don't know, but yeah, it's nice to see. Next up, we have some power and some performance of pricing of 8700 8000G processors of Ryzen. And first of all, it comes from Omomo underscore US and it's from three shops, three different shops in USD. So first of all, it's Ryzen 7 8700G, which can go from as low as 340 bucks to as high as 440 bucks. But I don't think it will be 440 per se because it will be higher than Ryzen 7 5700G, which retails for 359. So it will be 340 bucks mostly. And yeah, Ryzen. 8600G is 240 to 310 bucks. 8500G is 190 to 240 bucks. So yeah, it and do note that in second shop it feels weird because his price there it is priced as high. Also 5700XD can go as from 260 bucks to 340 bucks, but it won't be 340 bucks because it doesn't make sense because Ryzen's 55800XD is retailing for 322 bucks. So, yeah, Ryzen 7 5800X 3D is 322 bucks. So, Ryzen 7 5700 X 3D won't be 340, it will be 330 or 260. Ryzen 5 5700 is 180 bucks, and some lower end part 5600 GT is 150 bucks, and 5500 GT is 130 bucks. So, yeah, they are retailing for a very low price. Let's see the pricing is looking pretty good and these are just leak pricing as of now and these are not the retail pricing to keep in mind these are generally higher at the start of the game so after the Ryzen 8000 series launch and stuff we will see it pretty low next up we have some benchmark of Ryzen 7 8700G and it comes from Geekbench and it is it comes it shows that it comes with 7800M which is the same processor on Ryzen 7 and Ryzen 9 of 7040 series, high end 7040 series. So we can get some power dynamic from it. And 
8700G as you can see in GPU inference it scored 5255 which is a little bit higher compared to 7940HS and it is mostly due to that XDNA architecture in 8M due to the puff headroom basically you can cool this APU pretty much highly in desktop than in mobile processors so yeah it look it's looking pretty nice so the fps uplift will be also high and you can see in the cpu performance also it is a little bit higher compared to ryzen 9 5700 ryzen 9 7940 hs so overall it's looking pretty good and do note uh, it comes with rdna3 12 compute units of rdna3 so overall it will be an instant uplift in 8000g and it is an rdna3 architecture and if we compare it with this benchmark which is done by this youtuber uh, it's ryzen 7 5700g when compared to ryzen 7 7840 hs you see in most of the games ryzen 7840hs dominates it and it is due to rdna3 and ryzen 5 5700g still runs on vega so in increase in architecture this just shows that 8700g will be a dominant processor and it is set to be launched in cs so we just have to wait a little longer but yeah that's it from me today what do you think about the news sound of your thoughts in the comment section below like share and subscribe and i'll meet you in the next one peace out